girl behind Girl Meets Bujo. And I thought it would be fun to say a little hello in person for once. And today's video is going to be a fun one. I've gotten a lot of questions about the brushes and pens that I use for my layouts. So that's what this is all about. I will be sure to link all of the products down below. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post every Saturday, so you will always have a nice little reminder that a new video is up. So thanks so much for checking it out. Let me know what you think. If you want any other kinds of videos, be sure to comment below and I will get to them. Thanks so much. Okay, so first of all, I wanted to start off with my favorites, which are these Tombow dual brush pens. Now I use them for highlighting, but I also use them to color in some of the doodles that I have. So if you wanted to screen grab it, these are all the numbers that I use. Um, this is the pastel collection. Um, I love these. These are so, so great. They're very faint. A lot of people use the Zebra mild liners for highlighting, but I figure since I have these, I should just keep these. So um, let me show you. So if you can see, there's kind of like a nice gradient with them. So you can really create some beautiful colors. And what's also fun is that you can blend them and make your own color. You can do watercolor. I mean, the possibilities are endless. And there's the brush tip that I just showed you. Then there's also the fine tip. which is great for detail. Um, when you get these, it's also nice to get a blending palette. So this actually has all of the different colors and then the back is like a smooth glossy. So I can do another video on blending, but that's for another day. So it's, this is, this is what I use for highlighting. Then along with Tombow, I have this amazing mono tip pen which is gray on one side black on the other sometimes i feel like when i'm doing my lettering or highlights the gray is really nice because it's not as stark as a black and it also has a brush tip so this is just really fun and then you have the black I don't use the black as often just because I tend to use my regular Fudnosuke pens, which are these. So now this one is green right here. That means this is the hard tip. There's a hard tip and a soft tip. The soft is blue. Um, these I'm absolutely obsessed with. I use them for everything. and they give you such good detail. And when you're doing artwork in a bullet journal, it's nice to do, hold on. You know what, I, I'm losing my train of thought. Let me just finish writing the word. Cause this is a word that I'm not too familiar with probably pronounced it wrong too actually but anyways when you're doing um, details in a bullet journal you want to be able to do something small and you know it's not a huge canvas so these are perfect the Tombow brush pens if you're doing lettering it's a little difficult because you really want to have like a larger space um, so then when it comes to we're talking about doodling so I use my micron pens I actually have these in an, a set it comes in the 05 O three, 3 you can get this on Amazon, I'll link it below, O two, zero zero five, zero one, 0 1, and O eight, 8 which is the largest. So this is great in terms of doing thick and thin lines. My favorite that I use all the time is the zero zero five 5 because it's so thin, but I tend to really use all of them a lot. The I'll show you the zero eight 8 just as a comparison. And then there's a gradient in between with all of these. So it's fun to just play around and see which ones you like and, you know, how much detail you want to put in something, what if you want something to stand out. 
Now this is something that I've been using for years and years and years, and these are my Muji pens. I have more colors, these are just for showing you right now, but these are absolutely amazing. Muji's a Japanese company, but they do actually have some stores here in the States, and these are the point 3.8 millimeter, which is my favorite because it's so fine and so pretty, but it adds this incredible pop of color that you just can't get in other pens. And there's, you know, a lot of gel pens out there, but these literally write so smooth. As I say that this one's actually breaking, but this is because this one's almost out of ink and this is my favorite color, so I need to stock up on that one some more. Um, but these are unbelievable they're so sharp and crisp and they have the best color oh my god I love these they have so many good colors so I would recommend Muji for sure and then lastly I have my oops uh, stapler tri plus fine liner in brilliant colors I added this little washi tape here because this thing keeps popping open um, and I think it's really pretty but what's nice about this case is that you know stands up. I'm sure you've seen these around. Um, these also have really great colors. They do tend to bleed a little bit. Not bleed, but ghost. Um, but as you can see, they also have a really nice smooth tip. It's, it's more of like a, a felt tip rather than a gel pen, so they don't really smear as much as the gel pens. The gels, you do have to wait a second for them to dry but they still are really, really amazing. So what's nice about this is that it's a set, you know, with all the colors already, whereas the Muji's, you do have to buy them individually. So those are my fun pens. And sometimes, you know, I do tend to do some watercoloring. So here's a brush. And that is something that I do with a Tombow. And I can show you in detail if you like totally up to you let me know um and just for fun here oh i forgot to include this is my brilliant yellow zeros five five in case you guys saw the post recently the video i did on the bright yellow um these are some fun little washi tapes i have i'm not super into washi so i don't have a lot i have some gold and some other ones but these are the ones that i use the most this is a flamingo dolphin and swan not super big into washi, just like it for the details, but I will also link these below if you like. So let me know what you think, and if there's anything else you want to see, any techniques, um, I will be sure to get to it to you. All right, thanks so much, guys. Have a good day.